Hello. Um, in this video, I'm going to um, tell you how you can use Zoom to record screen. This is a very helpful tool for pre-recorded videos for poster and oral presentations. I have prepared this very brief uh, PowerPoint here to demonstrate how you can have a PowerPoint presentation while recording the screen. And I have also uh, prepared a, a poster um, as a PDF file that I'm going to use um, as an example of how you can pre-record a poster presentation. So let's begin with um, logging in to, um, to, uh, to Zoom. So you bring up the Zoom screen and then in here you enter your uh, username and password. Um, let's do it. So this is the, uh, the first screen that you see in Zoom. And in here, you need to indicate new meeting. So if you keep the default setting as it is, um, you basically click new meeting here. And then it opens up um, this screen. And um, in here, it indicates that you are the only person here and you can share your screen or invite others. Zoom has uh, recently made a lot of changes and I expect more changes to come. Um, so you might see a slightly different um, image in here, but it doesn't matter because the overall functionality is the same. So what you need to do here is um, you need to use the share screen option to basically um, share your screen and then uh, record it. So um, this way you can record from the um, actual screen. Before beginning the share screen, I'm going to um, op begin the presentation in this uh, PowerPoint. So I basically click um, on this option and this will go to full screen. And then I can go to the uh, Zoom screen. You can press Alt and Tab in Windows machines. It will bring up um, all the windows that you have, or you can uh, click um, Apple and Tab on Mac machines um, to basically bring up um, this list. So I go to um, Zoom screen. So this is the main screen. This is not uh, the one that I want. This is the one that I want. And then you click Share screen. In here, it indicates which screen you want to share. You can either share the, the whole desktop image that you have on one monitor. So these are um, indicating a screen one and a screen two. Um, in here, you see um, a number that indicates my screen number. I have two monitors connected to my machine. So that's why I have two screens in here. You can also indicate one of the applications, one of the open applications that you have to share. Um, that is the option that I usually prefer because if you bring up other windows on top of uh, the application that you want to share, it will not um, obstruct the image and it will not actually record any other uh, um, applications. So what I'm going to do is I basically select this um, window and then um, I can click share. Pay attention, if your presentation have a sound, so for example, if you want to present videos or audios during your presentation, you need to click share computer sound as well. Otherwise, the sound of your um, audio um, that is presented during your presentation will not be recorded um, directly from the sound system, but it will be recorded through the loudspeaker, through the microphone, um, that might not have a very good um, quality. Um, my presentation do not have um, sound, so I won't click uh, on that one. And then I click share. When you click share, you will see this uh, screen on um, this, like a ribbon on top of your screen. It will go away. Um, this part will stay on, but when you um, record it, this part will not be recorded in your presentation. So don't worry about having this uh, ribbon and these uh, information on top of the um, slides. 
So what you need to do at this point is um, you come to more and then you click on record. When you do that, in here you see a small um, like circle with red uh, dot in, in it. It indicates that you are now recording the screen and you basically click on your um, PowerPoint uh, presentation and now you can begin with your presentation. And then, just like normal, you can go to the next screen, you can uh, have your text coming up, uh, initiate recording, present the presentation. This is, um, we are now in this step. After this, we are going to stop the recording, and then we are going to close the slide presentation in PowerPoint, and finally, we are going to end the meeting in Zoom. But before um, I carry on with the stop recording and close the slide uh, and end the meeting, I'm going to show you how um, you can also present posters. This window indicates that um, when you close the meeting, when you end the meeting, the video file will be generated for you. Um, so that's it. So uh, you say OK. Um, but pay attention that it is still recording. So before you close your presentation, you need to um, stop the recording. So I'm going to stop it. But similarly, you can also um, have um, a, a PDF file as your presentation. So I have um, an old uh, poster that one of my students presented um, a couple of years ago. I want to basically present this poster. Um, as you might know, um, shortcut Control L um, on Windows machines can bring up um, the full screen, but um, you can also go to this menu and then click on full screen mode. If you go to full screen, you can use mouse um, to basically um, zoom in and zoom out. On Windows machine, you can also click on um, using shortcut Control plus and Control minus to basically zoom in and out. So you can zoom in, you can go through your poster, um, and you can present it. So um, just as a demonstration, um, I'm going to show you how you can, again, record this screen. So you go to share a screen, you select the window that you want to record, you click, you say share, and again, you see this ribbon on top, you go to record, it is now recording, and you present your poster, as you wish and finally at the end uh, when you are done with your uh, presentation you come here and you say um, stop recording and that is it and um, you say stop share and to get your video at the end of it you say end meeting and um, you basically say end meeting for all and then it begins uh, converting the, um, the recorded um, screens um, into some video files. After this is done, it will also open up the, the folder that the videos are recorded in. I recorded two videos, one for uh, the poster presentation, um, one for the oral presentation and one for the poster presentation. These are basically the two files. In here, you have some other files. Um, this is the audio only of the first recording and audio only the, for the second recording. And these two files are native Zoom files. Um, these are the raw um, images that Zoom um, has created. You don't need to um, do anything with those. These are the actual files that you need to um, actually upload um, in the website. So um, just to show you how they look, um, I'm going to present to you, you see a small it. So um, let me stop it. Um, so I'm going to show you the recorded video. So this is now the recorded screen. Um, I play it back. That symbol with red uh, dot in it. It so as, as you can see, the ribbon on top is not displayed, um, is not recorded um, in this video. Now recording the screen, and you basically 
please. So that is it. And also for the animations, yeah, if you want to have a look, video file will be generated. Oh, it's, it, this is. Uh, it was black because um, I ended the presentation before I end the uh, uh, recording. Presentation. This is. Um, it, we are now in this step. After this, we are going to stop. So as you can see, animations are also recorded very well. So this is the first one, and the second one is the poster presentation. Um, that it should bring up. Okay, it is now recording, and we present your poster as you wish. And finally, at the end, then when you are done with your... So that is it. Just one point you might have noticed um, is that um, for these kind of pre-recorded um, presentation, it would be better if you prepare your poster um, in a landscape or horizontal um, orientation because it can cover more of the screen and you need to scroll uh, less top and down um, because most of the screens are um, oriented uh, horizontally. So that is it. Um, and I hope you enjoy your presentations. Good luck.